that ever does that ever play in your mind that perhaps you you took it took it to the mountain, but alas, there was a, a suffering of it. Didn't care. You didn't think. Didn't care. Just wanted you to do it, Graf. I loved it. Mm -mm. I just loved it. Mm -mm -mm. It was my life. It was... And in your mind, you didn't feel like you were doing anything wrong. No, 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 no. Because it wasn't like that back then, was it? It was. It was just. It was like. It was. It was different. It was. I've never done anything like it. Mm. It took me to a place where I've never been before. Why is that? Because I did so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yeah. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct central London, or essential as you need to be, could be one of the, your desires are to hear, and we're here for you to listen. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight to all the regulars that, of course, have the Kellervision app. We are now in motion, a new time, a new time, a new progressive uh, era of uh, street culture, so make sure you get the app and download that for your sins. Um, we've got a very, very prestigious guest, shall I say, on today's podcast. For those of you who are in the know, congratulations. For those of you who ain't in the know, it'll take me very little for me to announce who this person is, because by the time um, people start whispering, you'll know it to be fact and you'll know everything you need to know. This is ACR Yardi's legendary graffiti writer, the mighty chain inside the place. Yes, brother. <laughs> How are you? One. Yeah. How was that for an intro, eh? That was good, brother. <laughs> that was good, that was good. It, I find it so hard to do some characters like yourself, Justice, just to kind of, to the vastness of, of a life, man. Mm. A life in graph and beyond is, mm. is it's bonkers, isn't mm. it? Mm. Do you find... Um, do you find looking back on the, you know, we are, we're going to be looking back. Mm. And um, for those of you that don't know, this is, this is a lot of uh, past tense, a lot of stories that were, mm. of a time that was. Mm -hmm. Does it, is it hard to go back into the recesses in your mind when you think about that short spree in the 80s where you, you oh, kinged it? Oh, well, oh. yeah, it, it was like a lifetime. Yeah, lifetime ago. Them, them two years was like, wow, it was like, it was going on forever, mm. you know? Wow, yeah. Because when we're talking of these two years, we are talking essentially mid-80s. 85 what? to 87? No, actually, maybe more, 85 to 80... 84. Wow. 84. Yeah. Check that out. Just so 84. Yeah. 84. 84. I started writing at... 13, that was 83, and I was, I think, maybe 83. Mm. And um, there was some writers in my school, Sketch and Justice, and they used to, they was allowed to do pieces around the school. <sighs> and um, you should copy them and do little bits, and I was told about spray can art. My oh, brother uh, got it. All right, right. And then we practiced a bit more, and then a bit more doodling here and there. And then, you know, eventually I came up with the name Chain. Mad. Talk to me about Justice. That's Rio, isn't it? Just Rio, yeah, That's yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before he was Rio, he was Justice. That's mad. You know, and... Um, so you were at school with Rio? You were at school with Sketch? Sketch, Sketch. But Sketch didn't go... You didn't go out like that? He didn't, you know, he, he just started on school. He was quite good. Yeah. He had potential, but he never... Went with Rio, mm. Mm. you know. He went his own way, and he was more on the art side of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he went. He didn't take it to the trains and mm. just a little dude in school, but he, he had potential. So he had spied. So you guys were sparring partners at that time at school, or was this like an, just an affiliation? They was in an older year. Right. They was a year above me. Oh, okay, and, so they were older, and they was like my brother's friends. Ah. You know, we used to hang out with them sometimes. Um, yeah, it was good, man. That's crazy. Your brother was quite an influence for you, wasn't he? He was, but for the wrong reasons. Okay. You know, he... he Can was... we talk about that? Yeah, I don't mind. He was like a 
bit of a bad boy. Right. He used to, like, stick up people and, you know, I kind of wanted to be like him. Why is that? Was that just a young... No, I just... Yeah, I just... Mm. It was like... Because I never had that confidence that he had and Mm. I thought, I want that. I want that and, um... Yeah, I started it small. Mm. Then... Started doing it myself. So he was he was he graphing as well, your brother? No, I just used to bring him on the lines to, like, just in show people. I was proud of him, innit? And, like, yeah, yeah. people would be intimidated from him because he'd, he'd try to bad up some people. When I think of... When I think of Chain, I, I, I can obviously only... I wasn't there, you understand. You know, mm. But um, I live vicariously through people's stories and... The stories that I hear about Chain is you showed no mercy in your delivery, the personality of Chain, the bombing aspect of Chain, mm. the, the extracurricular activity of mm. Chain. You took things to 100 and you were a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I lived for graffiti. I used to run away for months. S- s- Stay in train depots, sleep in trains, mm. abandoned cars, rooftops. You so know. even when you were at school, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be at school. I'd run away for graph. And you just had this drive. This drive was always yeah, in. yeah. And no, I like, I don't know how I survived. What was? Where did that drive come from? To be the most uppest, the most prolific, the most. I just like being up. It, you know. It, it started from Fuel, actually, because Fuel was, used to bomb the district line, and he was kind of, he was rocking it. And I wanted to be Original there. Yardies, so I'm led to believe. That was the, yeah, yeah, he was into crime. They were in, Yardies, into, they, had, they had two crews. Okay. Sorry. But I'm, they kind of I'm, gave I'm, up Yardies. Right, okay. He gave up Yardies. So time. I asked him, I said to him, can I start up Yardie? Can I restart Yardies? And he said, yeah. That's cold. So then it's me and Grand... And then I, I okay, hold on, I, hold on, hold on, let's hold on. So just going back to the the work ethic before, because <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm as keen as this lot to know about all these <laughs> stories. But let's keep to the timeline because I, I need to I definitely need to keep my chops up. So, so school, uh, Rio sketch. You then you then were obviously inspired by your brother and his uh, his activities and his. And then tenacity. my other brother. And then you had another. Graffiti, brother. Did graffiti and as well. And he did the graffiti as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. But he wow. was my younger brother. Dude, this was like a fusion of these two characters that yeah. made you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, yeah. mad. Mm, mm, mm. But my brother didn't really get, get into it seriously. So I took it serious. I took it to the trains. Why did you take it so seriously compared to Because I other? wanted to do it. I just wanted, really wanted to be that graffiti artist hitting the trains. Mm. I went, the first time I went in the yard was on my own with pen. Mm. Mm, blue, 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 blue barrow. Uh, you know, it's a bomb the yard. Second time, mad. Second time we went yard. Mm. Um, I was bombing, mm. and it was about half five in the morning. It was the trains were trying to pull out. Half five. Yeah. Wow. And the man, and the, and the man came down. He he saw me. He smelled the paint. And he he came down. And saw me. He told me to come. I came up. Then I just ran off. That was it. From that. Incident, I was on the yards. And Parsons Green was right across the road from my flats. So Parsons Green was your first port of call? Yeah, that was my first yard. Then it was Gloucester's. Mm. Then White City. Then Hammersmith. And it just got more and more and more. Then I started doing West Ryslip. And then... I started doing ha- then I started doing Hainal. Yeah. I just started doing Hainal. So then I started going to the other yards and just next thing I'm bobbing everywhere. Yeah, you're kinda of all fucking city. I'm bobbing Real everywhere. Quick. Then I've got to onto the northern line, started banging that, hooked up with Rec One, started doing a Baker Loose line sometimes with Yo, him. Oh, Rec One. Rec One, yeah, that was my dog. He should live in South London. Do you remember Rec One? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. Little, little short mix race. I don't guy. remember him as a person. I remember Rec but One. Fuck, he's a vicious yeah. little boy, man. Really? But up you guys be... were young at the time. I yeah. mean, we're talking, what, 13, 14? He might, he might have been 12, 13. Really? So how old are you at that time? You about were going all city at what? 
15, 14, 15. Do you know how... It's, I, guess, I guess for us watching or anybody else, who are even close to you, in retrospect, that's like, yo, you were allowed to? You went and did that? You went all city at such a young age? <laughs> I think that doesn't happen now. Like, for a lot of people, that's like, but well, the yeah. the times have changed now. You can't do that now. You can't, you can't go yards the way we used to. Mm. You can't do it. You used it to was... sleep in Parsons, didn't you? you yeah, to... yeah. Why did you do that? Because I used to run away and I, I to do graffiti for my freedom. Mm. So I could just do it when I wanted. What did your parents think? Well, they would worry. Yeah. And I would go back home and then I'd be gone the next day. Did they think it was a phase or something? Was this just a thing that... Yeah, they was worried. They were scared. Were they t together they thought, at the time? Your mom yeah, 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 yeah. They were scared for my life. So I might get electrocuted. But I knew what I was doing. Mm. Kind of. Kind of, but yeah. Yeah, it, at the I thought I did. And they obviously, being parental, they obviously had their worries. They? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one wants their kids no. on their train tracks. No. Especially at that age. I always, well, thought about this. I always thought about this, Chain, because, like, nobody wants to see their kids under threat or, you know, a call for concern is that they might be electrocuted or put mm. themselves in danger. It's, uh, it's a very honourable and very hard, oh, I would imagine, really hard thing to accept mm. as a parent that your kids have got their own minds and they want to go and do something and mm. you're not going to mm. stop them and it's, it's, it's graft to that level. Mm. That's a tough one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Does, that ever, does that ever play in your mind that... Perhaps you, you took it took it to the mountain, but alas, there was a, a suffering I of it. Didn't care. You didn't think. Didn't care. Just wanted you to do it. Graph. I loved it. Mm -mm. I just loved it. Mm -mm -mm. It was my life. It was. And in your mind, you didn't feel like you were doing anything wrong. No, 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 no. Because it wasn't like that back then, was it? It was. It was just. It was like. It was. It was different. It was. I've never done anything like it. Mm. It took me to a place where I've never been before. Where did it take you? In your head. Freedom, just free, just free. I was just free. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause I just, that's why I used to go, oh, I wasn't scared to go yards. And I kind of used to suss out all, how to get into the places and I would find extra places to get in. Mm. You, you know what I mean? So I would find a safer way to get into the yard. Mm. Like me and Grand were good at scouting yards. Right, let's get into Grand. Big up Grand all day. So you guys went to school together too? Yeah, we were in the same class. That is mind-blowing. Yeah. Okay, so so how did this... right? Because these are very, very rare occurrences where we talk about these, these yeah. levels. You were in the same school. Yeah. How did this all happen? Well, I kind of... I was already doing graph. And I kind of like we got to talk into talking, and then eventually I I introduced him to to Graf, mm. um, and told him about Sub by Art, um, and um, yeah, then um, I ha I wanted to have a buddy, a Graf buddy mm. in my year, so mm. I gave him his I gave him his tag, because Graf was my other tag that I never actually used. It was my I would have used it, but. Hold on, so you had two tags? It, no, I never... You you know when you have that thought in your head? Right. But Graham would have been my other tag. That it wasn't my chose chain. Wow, I chose chain. Mind. But no one knows this. I chose chain. And then I linked up with Graham. <laughs> That's in, just crazy. I've linked up with Graham in school <laughs> and introduced him to Graf. And how old was he at the time? A bit younger than me. So we're talking 12? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, about 13, mm. 12, 13, mm. 12, 13, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. yeah, we just started from there. I, I just... He just started from there. And uh, you know what this, and this is a fair bit for me to, you know, cast a, a, a narrative that, that may not be true, but one thing I do feel like... Because Grand don't fuck about. He goes in and he's super conscious, safe, clean. He, he's, he's always on alert. Because he knows what he's doing. doing. He's experienced graffiti artist. As a young, young age. Yeah, you can't, you can't get no better. Better than that. And he's king in it. He's, he's like, king he's, it. Yeah, you can't get no better than that. You can't get no better than that. He's, he's... Would you argue that he holds a torch because he knows that the re original recipe comes from an era with you? Like... An honour, an honourable... Um, what do you think? 
I started him off, but he kept it up. So it's, it's, it's him. He's he's done it himself. Correct. But what I mean is, to to have done stuff with you, and the life that you've had, there's a, there's there's a real honour and a flag to fly, mm. and I feel like you're right. He's learned so he's learned so much that he is so. He's a donner. He, he's, he's a, a craftsman. Donner. He's, he's a yeah. he's an artisan. Yeah, yeah. He, he don't one else can do it yeah. as good yeah. as that yeah. because he's gone through all the stages and he's got the backbone of you and, yeah. and an era. Yeah. Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah. T- anyway, yeah. it, would I be right in f- thinking that? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. 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 That's mind blown. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Am I being romantic? But I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't I don't want to take credit for it. No. I, I, no. Okay. I get you. I get you. I don't want to take credit for it. You know what I mean? It's not about He loves he, you, dude. He I love him too, loves man. You. I, lo- I know he does. <laughs> yeah. I know he does. I could see it, I man. I know he does. There's certainly like a um, a kindred spirit going on there where both of you are, you know, it seemed like to me, just on observation, that you was a two-headed monster of a sudden, like, <laughs> you guys were operational together. You were doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, you know, it was, it was good. We used to, you know... I always used to put him up. He always used to put me up. Yeah. <laughs> In the early days, chain ground. You, you, never, Yo. you never see a chain of ground without one of our tags. You, it'd be both. Once again, big up ground like that's <laughs> salute. I mean, don't it doesn't get more high powered mm, than that mm, mm, to this day. Mm. To this day, we had a good we had a good partnership. Mm. You know, mm. we always used to put each other up. Mm. Mm. Does that does that um, create that synergy for all city, like having a sparring partner, having somebody that you could really like get a kick out with? You know what I mean? Mm. Does that really help the the gusto of like going all city? Because I, I know some of the most classic team collaborations, you know they they come double double whammy, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I reckon even if I was doing it, on, I would have done it even if I was doing it on my own. Mm. You know, I kind of brought that energy to us. We just wanted to get up. Mm. Mm. And he, he, knew, he knew all the stuff. He had all the keys. Mm-hmm. He knew what time the trains came in, what time they went out. He knew everything. Wow. He's a don. Mm-hmm. He's a don. Yeah. He's a don. Them flowers are all for you, G. Honestly, man. <laughs> yeah, man. He, he's, a, he's a don, man. He's a don. But let's get back to you. Let's get back to you. Um, the inner, I want to get into the inner workings of uh, of Chain, the mindset, because um, you, you've you mentioned this a couple of times, the, the, the purpose, the mission, the whether it was, like I say, things outside of graph to even nowadays with your athleticism and going to the gym and training and um, the, 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 the attack that you have. Yeah, I, I train the same way as I used to bomb. That's the way I train. And you shot in the same way. You and when used... I used to shot, that's how I used to bomb. That's like, it was just like I was bombing. I've carried that energy in everything that I've got into, every hobby or every passion. I've carried that energy and pull it, and I go far. Mm. I go far. You go hard. Yeah, it's intense. Why so intense? Just, it's just, just the way I am. People, I remember when we did the Shutters event. The moment you walked through the door, everyone was just like, "This guy, <sighs> this guy," and it was a real, almost like a, 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 a strange sense of. Familiarity and homecoming. It's almost like everybody. You know what I mean? It's yeah, an impact. It's an impact. It's th- that's the impact that you leave mm. when you did what you did. Mm. That's that's. You you can't buy that. Mm. That's a that's an uh, that's an impact. Uh, uh. I mean, even 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 when I stopped writing, my trains, my stainers were on the train for years. Mm. Must, you know, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was fun. Mm. It was fun. Mm. Um, so from there, let's talk about Yardies, because obviously you, that that became the. Yeah, there was low. There was, you know, there's a lot of writers there in lot, that. There was a lot of writers in Yard. I ended up putting a lot of writers in that. What's the, what was the reason for that? Because writers that I used to go yards with, mm. and they'll be getting. I just put them in. Mm. 
Yeah. If I liked you, right. and you was my friend, you could be, you could get being yardies. How many missions would you have collectively or together? And you know what? What you? Because again, we're talking about two years. It flies, doesn't it? When you no, thinking? I did so much. I did so much. I did so much. You did say actually. You said to me that uh, I was it felt here. like it felt like forever. Yeah, it it, 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 it seemed like a lot longer. Why is that? Because I did so much. Yeah, you just <laughs> <laughs> it was my life dedicated to graph yeah, yeah. proper. Like, I wasn't mucking about, man. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I would go hungry. Hungry? To do, hungry to do graph. Go without food to go bombing for day. I wouldn't eat for days. To not eat? I'd be out. No, because I wouldn't. I'd, be, I'd run away, innit? And the only reason I'd run away was for graffiti. Didn't you ever, like, raise anything? Did you not rack or raise? Sometimes I used to clap a little, if I could, in the shop. But I was quite c- c- cautious. Why is that? Cause Cause that was I like... was on the run. I was running away, so they pleased were after you. After me. Were you running away because your parents were wanting to know where you were, or other things had happened? My parents used to tell me I won't allow out so much, and all the other writers used to mm. be allowed out, mm. and I just wanted a bit of that. So they would put out the signal that you'd gone missing, and then you'd be on... that's you on the run. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you didn't want to be seen as like stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't. I was careful. It's interesting because graph the, the route to passage normally is some sort of raising, racking, da 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 da. da. Yeah, but I would get my pain. I would still get pain. How? People should give me pain. Gave give you. People give me, I was just rob people. So was there more forceful times that you would uh, sometimes. Really? Like you had to do S- it? Sometimes. Sometimes and I didn't feel no remorse. None. I didn't, didn't feel nothing. Because you wanted to do it so much. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't care. I just didn't care. It's mad, isn't it? No fear. No, I was just, just thought I want, I want it. I'm taking it. Really? And what would happen if they wouldn't give it to you? They would give it to me. People would let off their paint to me. Really? Yeah. Anyone, I, you know, people would let off their paint. People just give me pain. Yeah. I wouldn't need to. Well, it was because you had such a network of graph writers that that were on your side. No, I think, no, no, it's more to do with my personality. What was your personality back then? A, a, little, a little bad boy. Really? Yeah. How bad? Well, just not bad, you know, just bullying. Feral? Just bullying, you know, little kid stuff. Yeah, I do know. Yeah. Just, just bullying. It's because it's, it's, it was bullying. Mm. It can't really say that was robbing, because you just bully a man for those three cans. Mm. Mm. And, and everyone was racking back then as well, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't. I didn't want to get arrested for no. teeth and paint. But I used to get the odd can here and there. Yeah. I did used to blast a few cans here mm. and there. But my main was like, paint just used to come to me. Were you still at school at this time? Or should you have been at school? Was I should a... have been at school, but I used to run away, innit? Oh, so when I ran away, I, I wasn't at school. You were like first generation hip-hop. Yeah. The landscape must have been mad crazy back there. Hip hop graph, not the actual hip hop, because I can remember my friends break dancing when I was like eleven. Were you into it? Not really. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Started break dancing at about (laughs) eleven. That's mad. And got quite good at it actually, Mm -hmm. and then it kind of went out. Mm. It did quite quick, didn't it? Yeah, Yeah, and then graph came in. And I got into it slowly, mm-hmm. and then started from there. Wow, yeah, bonkers. The graph scene, and I've alluded to this and talked about it so much, but I do feel like it's important to reflect that what was maybe easy to jump over a fence because there was no electric um, fences or cameras and shit. There was also this ex- internal risk of like, well, yeah, but you better watch where you're in, treading uh, uh, it because uh, there ain't no sign saying. I'm bothered about no train tracks. Never worried about it. No, nah, no, nah, you just tread on the. You can step on the on the rail. Well, on the live rail. Yeah. Well, nothing happened. Not Never. that we're advocating doing it. <coughs> Do not try this at home. There are people that have died and died. Yeah. Rest in peace to all the fallen. Seriously, mm. like. Mm. Dying for art is the, it's unthinkable, isn't it? It's mad. Mm. Um, but you're putting your life at risk. 
Tell me about some of the craziest missions. Give me some. St- give me. Give some stories. I don't know. I, like going yards on my own. What kind of stories you? Yeah, want? let's go. Some. Well, because going yards on your own actually is, is more poignant because no one else can tell them but you. I so, would yeah. go. I would go on my own and I'll be there bombing for hours, yeah. hours, and I might not have a lot of pain. And if I never had a lot of pain, I'd just do one throw up on each carriage to stretch the pain. Mm. Of a whole train. Yeah, so I'll get my throw up on each, on one panel, mm. on every carriage. And plus, they used to run more because the trains weren't battered. If the trains are battered, then they'd they'd take them out of service. Yeah. That's why my trains used to run a lot because I never used to batter them. Two, three throw ups on most on the, on the carriage. Mm. But just neat, just, and they used to run. What paints? Because you said they were stainers. So what... right. Hamrites. Hamrites. Mm. Hamrites. A lot of hamrites. And what about pens? Because they were stainers too, weren't they? And and what's that model that air, model black for aeroplane aer, paint? Yeah? Um, what was it? You used to tell me the name. It's a stain on the fuckers, man. Really? Aeroplane modelling paint? Yeah. I have no... no. Humbro. It was Humbro. Humbro. But it was, it was a brand they had. Comment below, people. Tell us what you're saying. I'm sure some of you will know what this is. That's mad. But you should still, there, was, there, was, there was quite a few. Can I say, I always find it interesting, the creative aspect of finding the hardest hitting paint or pens or inks. That, that was always an intrigue to me, like how... Because that art has gone. Uh, because everyone's just got whatever paint wherever, uh, whenever they need it. And the, the, the caps as well. But the idea of like having a, a former formula of a cap and a particular paint with uh, a particular ink or whatever, uh, I found that that's, that's an art in itself, isn't it? Uh, 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 did you yeah, did you yeah. like all that sort of stuff? Was it you know finding and sourcing those sorts of things at the time? I just like to bomb. I didn't care anyhow what cap it was. Really, I just like to see my throps and tags on the, on the trains, just up and down on the trains. Favorite yard? What was your favorite yard at the time? I used to like Hammersmith, mm. Golders Green. Um, the big yards, mm. um, West Ryslip, Edgware, Farringdon, Edgware. I loved Edgware. Mm. Oh, I loved that yard. Mm. Loved Edgware. Farringdon wasn't so big. I only went there a few times. It wasn't too big. There weren't enough trains in it for me. To me, it seems quite quite a, a huge metropolis of a of a yard. It's so yeah, central. There's only a couple of trains in there for me, so I only done that a couple of few times. Mm. I used to like big yards where there's trains. Mm. Big yards. Talk Two to trains you. ain't doing nothing for me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Edgeware Road. You could there's two two train up there. Again, we're talking in retrospect here. This is back in the day business. Um, do not try it at home. Talk to me about the feeling of. Uh, of going as as a, as you remember it, talk to me about that feeling, and what it felt like, what it looked like, how how the yard was for you. Was there a stillness? Was there a thickness? Richness? How did it feel? There was a smell. What was the smell like? Like a old damp smell. Uh, uh, uh like a um. And that smell's gone now. That smell's gone. It used to be on the northern line as yeah, well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you remember it? Yeah, it's... Um, it's and it's a, gone. A, it's an not... earthy smell, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gone. What, what's that smell? I know exactly what you mean. It's gone. It's gone. It's, you, know, no. it's, you know, but I used to like that smell. Yeah. I used to go... Right, so when I was coming to London, I'd go through this, under, this big um, bridge, underground bridge by Red Hill that would mm. take you to Croydon. And I would open the window for that smell. Because mm. as soon as I was in that, that tunnel, I was like, mm. his arms like, yeah, that's mm. that's old English. But it's the old. northern line was the best for that. I loved the smell of that on the northern line. But it, it, it just went away. Mildew, almost like a mildewy smell. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was asbestos or something. Yeah, something like, like that. They took the they took away. Just take of it away. Stuff. Yeah. Maybe it was asbestos. Um, so there was that smell, that feeling. Was it low lit? Was then was it black? Was it? Could you see anything? Mm, that was, it depends. If, if it was in, in the daytime, you could. You went yards in a day. <laughs> but if it was at night time, it'd be hard to see. Mm-hmm. I I can remember um, going yards with Ganja, and we hit White City. Mm, big up Ganja! Wow. 
We hit White City, and then we've come in out the yard now, and I see this big tall man at the bottom of the road, mm. maybe two, three hundred yards away, and he was walking towards us. I said, and I said to, don't walk walk into him. That's feds. And as he come closer, he's grabbed him. Mm. I've just I ran off. A police car's come. A red police Ooh. car. A red police car's come. I've ran down the street, hit up behind a car. The cars drove to the bottom of the street. Then he's realised I've disappeared. Then I've run out again and hit at the back on the green near the um, church. Wow. You must have loads of stories the, like this a, as well. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, yeah, it, it was... Um, yeah. yeah, it was it was mad. It was mad. What's Gangster like as a as a character? Oh, he was wicked. Oh, he was a I'd don. Love. I'd love he to he was he was he was the best person. He was so friendly, mm. but he wasn't a dickhead. Mm. He was no dickhead. But yeah, he was good. We had a oh, we had a connection because he was in Yardies. He was in Yardies. He? he was in Yardies. Yeah. I put him in, in it. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Was that before to you? Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. See all the heroes, man. Give me some more stories. Give me some... Right, so... Could you hear things in the yard? Like, could you hear things in the yard? Could you hear certain sounds, things that were familiar to you and only being in the, the yard? Only the train used to talk to you. Really? They used to generate. Like, vibrate every so often. Wow. Then stop. But it was like they was talking to you. Yeah. It was it was mad. It was mad and yeah, it was mad. It was mad. It was like they was alive. Like, yeah, come and paint me. Oh shit. It was like saying, come oh. and paint me. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds incredible. Uh, yeah, they were saying, yeah, come and paint us, man. We should go and paint them, man. What was like an oh. like electric sound? Like like a generating sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Quite loud. Yeah. Piercingly loud. But they're, 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 because they're put on, I think they're put on some kind of charges. Really? So they're constantly running. I'm now thinking so of Thomas generate, the Tank Engine faces uh, looking at you coming in with they, the paint. They generate, <laughs> yeah. They generate power overnight, I think. And that's almost like... Uh, uh, but Hammersmith was a, was a mad yard. That would be good because they would all be doing it and training. There was loads of trains in that yard simultaneously. Mm. And um, and and the 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 Mets were quite loud because they're big trains compared to the Northern lines. Mm. So yeah, it was it was and even of course yeah of course wow even across the road mm. same thing yeah yeah because they had the bigger trains. We should hit that. We should hit that a lot, man. Not every day, but sometimes it would be every not I would be doing yards every day. Different every ones. Day. Not not all the time, but there would be times where I'd be going yards every day. As long as the paint was there, I'm going yards. You used to bring your brother to yards sometimes. A couple of times. I bought I bought them Hammersmith. I bought them Hammersmith, but they never came in. They never came in. No, no, no. But they came. They went to the yard, but they yeah, never they went in. Yeah, they just waited outside. What was it like introducing graph writers to your brothers at the time? Um, I don't know. I just wanted... These are your heroes. These are your brothers, right? Yeah, like... no. It was only... Yeah, my, my little brother, he was only my little brother, my younger brother, but my big brother now. It was kind of put fear into kind of people that like, don't want with me. Because mm. I've got my bro. Mm. And it kind of did work. Really? As a threat? Because people would know not to fuck with me because my brother would come. Did people see you as a threat? Was it? Did it get to the point where you were bullying? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe because I was a bit of a bully. So you became a threat as time went on? And to you're certain, no, not to everyone, to certain people. If I didn't know you and you was a dickhead, mm. I'm going to treat you like a dickhead. Could you smell a dickhead a mile off? Yeah, of course you can. You know, of course you can. But it was wrong for me to have that mind mm. at that time. But I was young then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and reformed. Like, reformed as of a yeah, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. We're talking of a two-year spree. Like, I'm not proud of it. No. But 
this is what I used to do. Do you think um, graffiti was an introduction to extra um, criminal activity? It's interesting. I always find this an interesting question. <clears throat> I was I was already doing it. I was already really into crime. Yeah. What crime were you into <coughs> as well as graph? What other crime related stuff were you doing? Well, I br- I did a I broke into somewhere when I was younger, right. eleven, yeah. and got a load of cigarette sweets. Mm. That was like my first kind of thing. Mm. We got a lot of sweets and a lot of cigarettes. And as a kid. That's and I'll give them. I'll give the cigarettes away, yeah. but I had loads of sweets, and that was it. From, just started from there. Wow. Then I used to shoplift. Yeah. Because we didn't have much money. No. Going to the shop, and have a bag, fill up a whole bag full of sweets, and show them in school. Was that? Did you perpetuate? Did you think just well, I can do that, then I will just do this, and then if I do that, and then yeah, yeah, mm. just like one thing leads to another. Mm. Is that a, a young person's mentality from an inner city point of view? If you're brought up around that, yes, yeah. but not not for every not not for everyone. It depends what kind of lifestyle you've you've been brought up around. I'm trying to get an understanding yeah. of that because, like you say, your parents and this is me trying. I'm desperately trying to figure it out. I'm not. There's no stereotype here or anything like that because we're all different. But if you've got two point for family, 2.5 family, then what, it, it's, is it the playground where the activity and the interest came in? Is it like, th- is that the catalyst, that the peer pressure? Mm. <laughs> no, not really, because I liked it. You liked it, yeah. So, you know, it wasn't no pressure. There was no pressure, I just loved graph. And you were good at doing it. I was okay. I was okay. Man, I think I could still. I was make... a good. I was more up. I was more of a bomber. Yeah, I can still picture your tag now, and that's just me in rockandcity.com. I know exactly what it's like. And then when I saw you do it on the, sh- well, I saw it on the shutter in like, I was like, yo, that is cold. Like, because you know you see it enough, then when you see it being done, and it's up there. And you're next to it. Uh, that's mad. Uh, uh, uh. That's mad. Uh. Do you recognise the impact that? Because it's not entirely graph, is it? It's it's a mentality. No, I I do. I I know I had an impact on some other writers. Mm. Definitely. Mm. Aggression, attack. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Loads of writers because they were doing what I was. They were doing what I was doing, mm. but not as well. But you were going out with a lot of people as well. Bringing I was in. going, I was all over London. Mixing. Bringing people in to yard Yeah, I was bringing that. in people, yeah. You know, I used to go on the Northern Line, I put in Can and all that in, in Yardies. You know, Can, yeah, huh? Batman. Yeah, Can, I, lo- I used to love Can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved him. I loved his little frappies tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I can was, imagine it now. He yeah. was up, so I thought, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to put him in Yardies. Mm. He was good. He was good. He was good, man. I like, I like yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, can't who else was in like Keep? Was in Yardies? Keep. There was loads. I can't even remember. There was so much people. Yeah. This is precursor. Precursor. I had like, certain people that I used to move with. They was all in my clique. Was in Yardies. Can I ask you? Is this pre? This would be precursor to you. Obviously, precursor DDS. This was the prototype of the the mass kind of. Campaign crew that would be that would go out on a big level. Yeah, yeah, we, we was from everywhere. We was, we was all, all North London, West London, South London. Mm. You know, we united and. Would trouble follow you? Not really. No, you'd create it. You'd create it. No, I'll create it. Yeah, it would follow <laughs> me. No. All right. What well, um. What led to you stopping graffiti? What was that? Just like looking at the boys that had the nice clothes, got the girls, had mm. money. You know, I just wanted a taste of that. And when I got into it, that was it. I was off. Just the same way as I was doing graph, 
I got into like making money. Did you cut, cut off graph completely about that point? I went, you know, I was a couple of times. I bucked off of a couple of people mm. and did a little, little hit goggles a couple of times. Hmm. Uh, shot in drugs, drug dealing. Yeah, that was my, you know, f- boy, that was... Really? Yeah, it was good. Really? The Shoot. money was good. Really? Short-lived, though, isn't it? It is, it is, it is, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Hmm. You ain't got a clue. And it was just, it was, come, it was too easy to earn money. Really? Did it, it come at a price? Not really, no. No? You just saw it as, like, just an occupational... It was just, like, a job, and I had to go and make money. Hmm. It became my life to make money. What were you selling? You know, a bit of this, a bit of that. Yeah. So not nothing specific, just whatever it was going on? No, it was specific, but no. I don't really want to talk about it. No, fair enough. Um, any regrets in that in that world? Oh, yeah, mm. definitely. Mm. Because it holds you back. When mm. you dedicate your life just to making money, there's so much more you're missing out on. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just put your life in just to making money. Mm. You lose things, don't you, as you go? Yeah, yeah. I lost a lot. A lot of, I've lost a lot of money in my time. Give, um, give me an example. What, what things have you lost? Just big loads of money. Just, really? Just really? Stashes. Wow, really? Stolen or just misplaced or Stolen. just... Stolen. Wow. Wow. And a, few, a few times, but you know what? That's part of the game. Yeah. You lose some, you win some. Damn. He's not legit. No. So therefore, he, what, easy and come, it, easy go kind of mental? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> mm. Yeah, I feel that. Sometimes I feel, not that I've ever done drug dealing or anything like that, you understand, but but I think from any perspective, you know when you you know when you ha- have money come yeah. and you're like, oh, that was reasonably quick. What yeah. do? I'll do that again. Yeah. And you do it again. But then at some point... It catches up on you mm. in a weird way. It's almost like, not even karma, it's just like easy come, easy go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no respect for it. Yeah, no just respect come, for it. It just comes, it's just... A phone call, you've got, you got money. Mm. It's a phone call. Never feels earned, does it? Yeah. It does, because you have to go out and get it. Yeah, true. <laughs> but in terms of, like, by comparison of, like, of a period of time where you, you've you got a... But you don't think that when you're doing it, because you fucking... I used to work hard. No, I don't. I don't doubt that. If you I go as hard as you hard. go on the ground... I used to and... work hard. Mm. You know, I used to work hard. but was shot hard. Mm. But we used to call it work. Because mm. that was our work. Big shout out to anybody that puts in work on any level, man. That, look... It ain't easy out here, especially in this 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 year. It's not, it's not easy. It's not, especially if you're not put in the right direction. Mm. There's so many better directions to be. Yeah, you got to be. You know, when you're exposed to certain things in your life, mm. you're more likely to turn that way. Yeah. You know, you see no evil. Mm. You're not evil. And you'll speak no evil. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But see evil. And you're gonna see get evil. Mm. Do you think there is any help? For, do you think there's any help for people? Do you think there's enough help for people? No, no. But it's impossible to mm. help everyone. Mm. Yeah, you, should, you know, what can they do? Yeah, you're gonna to want to be able to help yourself to a degree, I suppose. Don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Um, things happened. Were they defining for you? Like, for instance. You told me the story of you've been pushed off. Yeah, I got pushed off a roof. Um, Where was this? Yeah. Damn. Off the roof, hit the floor. How off? How high? In between thirty-five and forty foot. How did that happen? I some bouncers pulled me aside. Yeah. And that's the last thing I can remember. They took me up on a roof. And that's the last thing I can remember. Then they found my body downstairs mm. with my... They took my watch. I had a Rolex on, they took that. 
What? When what? I was on the floor. What What year was this? 1999. That it just seems like the other day. Yeah, I bet it does. You know, it, it, it will probably always seem like the other day. Does it haunt you? No, I, I do think about it a lot. Mm. Mm. I do think about it. I mean, the, the thoughts haven't gone away about my accident. Did it? But I'm not sorry or... I don't no. feel sorry for myself. No, no, no. But there um, is obviously a, a what if in your head of it could have been worse, it could have been fatal or anything. Yeah, it? it could have been better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the impact, you landed on and, and broke your arm, correct? I broke my arm and fractured my skull. <gasps> and had a blood clot on the brain. And broke my pelvis. What? And, and I was in a coma for three months. Brother. What happened to them? They, they... Oh, they got sacked. Yeah, I bet they did. Yeah. But there was no evidence to say it was them, so... Oh, yeah, right. That... <laughs> oh, I should have was... no... So there was no evidence? No, no. What did they throw you off for? I don't know. Because you don't remember it. But when you have a head yeah. trauma, it does get blocked up more time. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to remember. Man, that must have been one hell of a traumatic time for you. It was. It was the, the beginning of the journey is when I woke up. <laughs> that was the beginning. It was so hard. I couldn't walk. Couldn't walk. Couldn't walk. They had to put me on, put me on a mattress mm. in the bedroom because I kept on falling out of the bed. So they put me on a mattress in the hospital. Yeah, on the floor in the hospital. Mm. Oh, yo. Why did you keep on falling out of the bed? Because um, I would have nightmares. Of course. And toss around, and mm. they're only small beds, aren't they? Yeah, and yeah. I used to fall out, so they put me on, put me in a little room, you know, a little mm. pirate room, mm. and with a bed on the floor. No one deserves that fucking level of torment. Yeah, but I'm all right. I'm good. Back then, though, that, that must have been. It, what it, hell it, of a... it was a big changer. It was a big change in my life. Turned it upside down, mm. inside out. You know. But I'm, I'm all right now. Did, did graffiti play a part after the fact, or was this kind of like resigned that, you know, I broke my hand, I'm not going to be painting for a while, it's, 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 it's redundant? Oh, no, I can't use my hand properly now because the nervous system is damaged from the stroke. So you had a stroke? I had a stroke, yeah. At the same time? I was paralysed. So, so, so hold on, so you had the stroke the from same time? From the head injury, Right. I had a stroke. Right. Which made me paralysed. Got you. That's why I have trouble using this, this hand. This hand. The nervous nervous system's damaged. Wow. Well, so and so using a can is not easy. It's hard. It's you hard. can train it, but it's not hard. It's not easy. I probably could. I yeah. could. I could. But it'd be a lot. It would take a lot. Because I haven't got the... Mm. Mm. See difference. Yeah, 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 big time. Uh, for those who are listening and not watching, we're doing finger <laughs> finger exercises. Finger flicking with, with uh, Sir Chain. <laughs> no, no. See, yeah, I left and right. That. Yeah, clearly yeah. there's there's a difference in in. So with a can and and actual holding the actual can, mm, it's not the one. Have you ever tried to flip to a diff to different hand? Is it any good? I've never tried. No, it's not the one, is it? It's what I'm you left-handed, isn't it? So. I'm tight left-handed crew. <laughs> yeah, come I'm right-handed, not left-handed. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're right-handed. I'm right-handed, not left-handed. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll handle your left hand. So <laughs> I've got you. Um, yeah, man. Wow, what a life. That's um. I feel like we're fast-tracking it. Like you say, it's it's the, you almost got a life of million lives, isn't it? Mm. What happened after the accident, and how? What was the rehabilitation like, and how have you? Oh. I didn't really have none. I had to do it myself. Mm. I had a bit of physio. Yeah. And I said to myself, in one year's time, mm. I'm going to start exercising. Mm. And just before that year started, I bought myself a dumbbell. 
Mm-hmm. Then I bought myself a bench and and uh, a few more dumbbells, and you used to practice at home. So it began the the journey of you being so athletic. Yeah, that's crazy. So you know, I started from there. Trained at home for about three years. Didn't go gym. Built myself up at home. Then started going gym. Then started doing spin classes. Doing yoga. Yeah. Can I ask you something? It's one that may be so naive because I've never, I don't know anybody that's had a stroke to this degree that will go in and rehabilitate themselves for, for themselves with no other guidance. How easy is it to retrain? muscles and the memory of once having a stroke is that easy really hard i bet especially my damage weren't so well because i was young mm. you make a better recovery but we're, we're talking mid-20s now right yeah late 20s yeah, yeah. but it's it's harder for older people mm. Mm. but you know people 28 29 don't have strokes no. but they do but it's rare mm. Mine was because of my head injury. Mm. So it wasn't because of any other purpose. It was because of my, mm. the, the clot on my brain. Mm. How long did it take to gain movement? Because, like, I'm not even joking. Like, uh, okay, there's a limp. But mm. everything else, you're like, you're built like a... Yeah, like it, a took, it, took, it, oh, it took me years. Because you, you, dude, you, you literally... You beast it. You... I am. I am. I am. I do train like a monster. Yeah, I can I see. I train hard. I train hard. And also, can I just say as well, respectfully, you're reactive as well. Like, even if there's a slight stumble in your walk, you recover like immediately. Like, oh you... yeah, because yeah, I've learned to do to adapt because I've stumbled so much. Mm. My, I'm. That's crazy. It looks like I'm gonna fall, but you really don't. I'm it's like you hold it like just, my, le- my other leg just holds me. <laughs> Because I've learned how to do it. I've yeah. had to learn to walk properly again. Yeah. I remember when I came out of hospital, I couldn't even walk down the road. I, I couldn't walk far. But with practice, mm. now I can just bang it out. You did. We we went from one other station to get to here. and I couldn't like, get from my house to Hammersmith in like... 30, 47 minutes. What? Walking. From one to there? No. Nah. From Brentford to... Yeah. Mm. Really? That must move. It's like five miles. Is that a challenge you set yourself sometimes, you know, knowing the, 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 the obstacles, or is it just a no-brainer now? I don't, I don't really... Because I, I don't need to do that no more. Mm. I can t- I'm fit. Mm, yeah. I'm fit. I don't need to... You know, that was when I was trying to test myself. Uh. But that did help me. Big up Marvin Herbert and the likes that go through something like you have. Mm. I feel like, is there ever a real celebratory story for those those roads you've walked? Is there really, because is it, there's the turnaround of yourself where you can say, I've achieved this, you can do it too. You don't need to be going down this path as a shot in whatever and and being in that life you don't have to do it that's celebrated isn't it Uh, that's celebrated I've changed my life I'm I'm totally different now Mm. different person yeah 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 big up PIC as well and all the gang there yeah he's another Don yeah he's another that's your boy right there he's another Don he's another Don grand PIC all in man wow wow do you ever think do you ever think about Getting a can. I mean, I saw, like I said, I saw you the other day at Shutter. I, was like, I do, no, I do, I do. I, I think about it all the time. Mm. Is that thought's never gone away. Mm. <laughs> Even from when I stopped it. I've always, you know, mm. yeah, I've always said I'll go yard one day. Mm. I think just for like, well, even yard, just but, get the yeah, can out. It's a yeah. fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantasy. Yeah. If I was to go yard, you know. What would happen to those poor trains? <laughs> I don't know, you know. Trying to get in there now is too hard. Mm. Cameras up everywhere. Critically, do you think you'd actually be doing graffiti now if you were born in the era we are in now and and all the obstacles? Do you think you would paint? Well, times are different now, so I don't even know what I'd be into because 
passions are different now. Mm. What things that people are into are different now. Mm. So I'm not sure. Favourite writers of the era, of your era? What were the favourite writers? There was quite a few. Yeah, I bet. Casby. Yeah. <laughs> Rio. Yeah. Foam. Mm. Did you throw a foam? Huh? Did you know foam? No, I, I knew, of course I knew foam. But you know, yeah, but did you used to roll with him like that? No. Mm, we used to chat, we'd talk, mm. we talk, we had a respect for each other, mm -hmm. but not a lot of people liked him. He's, he's, he's just jack man. Okay. So you had to be on the right side of him? Yeah, but he was cool with me. Mm. I can imagine. He was cool with me, he was mm. cool with me. But he was a bit dark. He was a dark horse. He was dark, man. Right, right, right. Um, who else? Fuel. Old type fuel. Coma. Cast. Um, cast man. Coma. Cast man though. Whoa, I mean, cast is a don. Don. I went. I went. Yeah. I went, we, we don't. We, we, I think it was Ritman as well. Was it like painting with cast? Because he's yeah. just like to me. He's just legend. Like a, yeah. Even even then. Even 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 though, as much as I was up, I was proud. So you go in yards with him. Because you just knew that he was just on such a level. Yeah, he was bad. He was bad. He was bad. He was, he was bad. He was bad, man. <laughs> That's one man I'd love to have on the podcast. And Fuel, comb has been on, man. And uh, yeah, just these guys. It was a different way of rolling back mm -hmm. then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Who yeah, else? Yeah. Um, there's Envy. There's mm. Grand. But Grand's my dog, man. He's my... He's, my, mm. my, he's, he's, he's number dear. one. Yeah, yeah. Um, set free, Sham sixty nine. Um, Robo. Robo, yeah. Doze. Mm -hmm. Um, there was just, there was quite a few writers that I respected, Dude. but the, the big big these 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 were name brands. Mm. Yeah, that's right. It's funny, isn't it? Because even now, when I think of those guys, it all becomes linear to me. It's like whoever's hot and up now, it's still. It's almost like there's no timeline. It feels mm. like, but but what you do get, like you say, is the the brand of them. Mm. Like when I think of those, I'm like, yo, he even even Fuji, and you had mm. the East London crew, mm. Stop One, mm. um, and uh, Artful Dodger and them. They're before my time. Really? Yeah, that's they're, he was they're, like they're, so they're, early. They're old school. They are. They are old school. They are, aren't they? They're they're. You know, I've got to add it to Artful, man, because I've got to take it out of. He was really was ahead of the game. Yeah, he, no he, one could say nothing. Yeah, he, you can't, you no. can't, you know, you can't. Big up Mean, of course, Mean as well. Oh yeah, he's mean. Mean's a writer. Mean's a writer that I used to look at and think, yeah, I want, I want mm. to hook up with him one day. And we we did, mm. but I just see his right his, his tag on the Met, mm. and I wanted to meet him. Because he was up back on the Met oh, then. Yeah. yeah, he was up, man. You had a story. Mm? You had a story, didn't you, of, of you and, and Mean? Mean's got the story. You'll have to get Damn me it. for that. You'll have to get me <laughs> for that. But it's a good one. It's Is a it? good one. It's Shit. a good one. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. That'll be for the bench, then. Huh? That'll be for the bench. Nah, that's a good one. Um, wow. <laughs> Anything mean, you want? Mean, mean was uh, someone I wanted to meet as well. Mm. And I met him, you know, like mean. It was, who was it? What was, what was the other right used to hang around with? Is this another mean and. Wow. Uh, well, you'll have to go and look in a podcast. We've done two podcasts with mean. There's a couple of podcasts with mean. I'm sure he brings that up at some point. Uh... Um, one more story. Give us a give us a crew story this time. Give us a story from the from the vaults of because we've had one on your own and obviously the Ganja one. But tell us a, tell us a story of the, of, a, of a crew one. Um, well, I can remember just going all going Hainal. Hainal, yeah. Battering it. Really. Battering the whole loads of us. How many? Maybe ten. What? Ten of us. That's a mob. <laughs> you know, there was loads of us. Battered it. What happened if the security saw you on the train guard? That no, it was Hainal was nice, quiet. Really? Yeah. Can you say that? And 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 Cock Fosters. Cock Fosters. Hmm. That's a big yard. Is it? A big yard. Big yards. Hit every train in there, man. Really? And again, you would do it so that they'd run. You wouldn't batter yeah, it. Yeah, I wouldn't them. batter it. Because I wouldn't have the I would I would like to I used to spread my paint mm. 
Mm. And the train used to run more. Mm. The less battered they were, the more your tax and your your frops going to be thrown around on on the underground. Mm. How many? Pa- uh, well, I mean, w- w- you take a bag in. That would be like. Or would each of you have a can? I'm just trying to get an understanding. It depends. I'd bring whatever I had. Mm. You know, sometimes I'll just have scraps and go yards for scraps. Mm. You know. But yeah, it was fun, man. You've had one hell of a life, Chain Man. And it's been a fucking pleasure having you on. Thank you, Baba. Anything you want to add before ducking out, but before piecing out? Um... Yeah, I'm still here. Still here. Still kicking it. Yeah, you are. Mm. And it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure having you on my Thank you, brother. Anytime you're in the area, tea and a pot, drinks in the fridge, you know it. Cool, brother. <laughs> Let me finish this one first. There you go. <laughs> I'm chatting away. This has got cold. <laughs> We've been gassing. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast. Our light in was our fashion. You know what it do. Sharing is caring. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. 2022, you know how we do. Uh, big up, Chain. Stay lucky. Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. Respect my lads. Yes. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Yeah, yeah.